out of the clear blue western sky from the Flying Crown Ranch in Grover, Arizona, we'll be visiting today with Gloria Winters, the actress who played Penny in Sky King, the famous television series. Stay tuned. Western sky comes Sky King. Welcome once again to Captain Fred's Aviation Theater. Out of the clear blue western sky, we have Gloria Winters, who played the part of Penny sky king's niece on the famous television series and we are so happy and proud to have you here with us penny oh it's my privilege uh, most of our viewers remember sky king from television mm -hmm. but to bring them up to speed uh let me say that sky king was first on radio uh, came on in 1947 Earl Nightingale played Sky King on the radio, and it was sponsored by Derby Foods, makers of Peter Pan peanut butter. The announcer was a young man named Myron Wallach, who changed his name to Mike Wallace. And then in 1952, Derby Foods took Sky King on the television. And Gloria, would you tell us what happened then? Because that's where you came in. Well, we we had a wonderful time we made so many shows i can't count them all i think you know how many and uh we just had one adventure after another the oh. last count that i had was 78. yes you oh that's right you you really are accurate in all these things. but uh it ran in uh, reruns or residuals forever uh till 1967 <laughs> so that's so what 25 years or yes. something like that it's still running somewhere in the world now, uh, there was yourself as Penny, the mm -hmm. niece, mm -hmm. and um, Clipper was played by who? Ron Haggerty. Ron Haggerty. Mm -hmm. uh, We're very good friends. I remember him because um, he left to go in the military, mm -hmm. and then when he came out, uh, he was in the charge at Feather River mm -hmm. with Guy Madison, yes. which was the third 3D movie, and you had to put on those paper glasses with a red and green lens. Oh, gosh. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, so after he left for the military, uh, Sky just had a niece in the program. Mm -hmm. That's right. And uh, the, I guess the one that I remember the most is where you decided that you needed a new hat. Could you tell oh, yes. our viewers a little bit about that one? Oh, yes, we were flying along, and uh, I just uh, said to Uncle Sky, I need a new hat. And he said, well, you can go and buy it whenever you want to. And I thought, well, couldn't we make a little shopping adventure out of this? And, well, anyway, it led one thing to another. And, of course, always Penny seems to get into trouble. I think I still do that in life, really, but... Uh, I'm not flying around so much. Well, they didn't have shopping centers in Grover, Arizona. Not at all. Well, oh, yeah. And you lived on the Flying Crown Ranch. Yes, absolutely. So you had to take the Songbird and go to Los Angeles. Of course, absolutely. And that gave you an opportunity to get involved in all sorts of situations. You bet. It was fun. Another <laughs> one that I remember was... Um, the Wild Man, uh -huh. where you got to work with Buddy Bear. Oh, yes. Shortly after he had saved Deborah Carr in Quo Vadis. Oh, boy. So that's where he you... tied the yellow ribbon around all the trees to save the animals. Oh, yes. And oh. Uh, the, the bad men were after him, and you had to go in the songbird and, and help locate him. Sure did. Oh. What was gosh. it like working with Buddy Bear? Oh, it was fun. He was a very nice person, and uh, it, I think everybody that was on our show was just so congenial, Wholesome, so friendly. good people. Yes, mm -hmm. real down to earth, and uh, we had a lot of fun. Uh, another one that I remember 
Uh, and I'm, I'm sure our audience has their favorite episode. But uh, another one that I remember was uh, Sky was in an air race, and uh, some people decided that that would be a good way to rob a bank and get rid of the loot is to give it to one of the contestants in the air race. Do you remember that one? Kind of, yes. Well, after all those shows, it's hard to remember all, all of the scripts, but there was always something, and I was always getting into trouble. And often, I'd get tied up by the bad guys, and they would always plan the day. The whole script was planned so that I would get tied up, and then they'd say, okay, time for lunch, and everybody would leave the set. Everybody, and I said, "Come on, guys, here. You know, you, you come back." They would leave you tied up. They'd leave me tied up. And go to lunch. <laughs> That's right. Oh, <laughs> I'd scream and holler. Oh. That means they like you. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, if they didn't tease me, I would have been in deep trouble because. It... Most of the time, when I I remember seeing you, uh, Penny, <laughs> if she wasn't in the Songbird, uh, Penny was in an office manning the radio oh yes because she was always uh, there uh, uh, on the radio communicating uh -huh. or, or passing yeah. along messages also with the sheriff sheriff would be uh, communicating and of course uncle sky and clipper so it was a lot of fun uh, what would you like to tell our viewers about uh, the program sky king well, I think that it was so wholesome, and uh, it was it was in a time when uh, it was right for the bad guys to get caught, and yeah. we were out there doing it. Life was simple in those days. <laughs> Wasn't it? Did you audition for the part, or how did you yes, get it? Yes, we tested. I tested with Ron Haggerty and someone else. I didn't have Uncle, the real Uncle Sky. He was an, um, on another... Uh, format with another person. Well, a lot of times there was a script girl who read Sky King's lines and you would audition with somebody well, else. Well, this was really done on film with Sher Jack Shertog's productions, and uh, they were uh, our first producers. And so uh, you just tested, and then they would call your agent and say, uh, well, we would like to have Gloria Winters as Penny. And so it was one of the best things That's in my wonderful. life. But later you said you worked with Gene Autry, oh, yes. and uh, he told you a secret. Yes, he did. Well, you don't want me to reveal a secret, but I did do a wonderful show with him one time, and, uh, and he was talking, and he said, uh, well, what else do you do? And uh, he was an opportunist, of course, and I said, well, I really thought that I was going to be a singer. And so right away he called the... Uh, uh, the, the um, writer of the script and said, you need to write in that she is, that she's going to sing. He said, this is the perfect spot, won't hold up production. She can sing a, a warning to me. So that was my debut as a singer on television because I, I sang this warning to the um, tune of uh, Swing Low, Sweet Chariot. So <laughs> Bad guys you sang coming the after the song. Uh huh. It was fun. It was fun. It was really relaxed, and uh, it, whenever there was a chance to make the show a little better, of course, Gene Autry did it. Excellent. Yeah. We'll be back right after this important message. We'll be right back. Flying Crown Ranch in Grover, Arizona. We have with us today Penny, Sky King's niece, played by Gloria Winters. And at this point, let's talk a little bit about an actress named Gloria oh, Winters. Oh, gosh. Uh, as a child, I know that you were in Our Gang, The yes. Little Rascals. Yes. And uh, what else were you in as well, a Well, uh, so I made things. my debut as Carol Lombard's baby. Just, you know, I don't remember anything. Didn't sign autographs when that happened. You didn't have many lines. 
<laughs> but then, no. uh, as you were a toddler or, or growing up, uh -huh. uh, you were in Our Gang yes, comedy. Yes, and that was fun. And uh, Pete Smith Specialties? Yes, that was Man's Best Friend. And that was the time that I fell in love with with all sorts of wonderful puppies. And uh, here was this little Scotty Terrier came up and uh, I was coming down uh, a slide and I was supposed to bump and hurt myself when I got to the bottom of the slide. And, uh, and the Scotty dog comes up and kisses all me around the cheek and says, it's okay. Well, you know how they got the little Scotty to kiss my face? Tell the secret. Uh oh, it was with the, uh, um, the, the use of ice cream. It was so enticing. They put it all over my cheeks. And I remember, you know, I was, and it was like just makeup. a kid. And it was invisible. Oh, sure. I think vanilla ice cream tasted pretty good, that too. That did the job. <laughs> Uh, then, as you grew up, uh, I remember seeing a lot of what they call cheesecake photos. You grew up into a beautiful young woman, and uh, you were offered the job as um, on the life of Riley. Yes. On the television uh -huh. program. Now, yes. on the radio, William Bendix played uh -huh. Riley, and uh, Rosemary DeCamp, I believe, played the wife. My mom, uh-huh. And uh, she went on to television and played the, the mother on yes. television. Yes, But William Bendix couldn't because he had a contractual problem. That's right. So they hired Jackie Gleason. Jackie Gleason played, played my father. You played Babs, the daughter. Yes. Would you tell us about first, that? Because oh, it, it won was, something special. It won the first Emmy ever in a, for television show. So it was a, really a privilege to be on that show and to work with people like Rosemary DeCamp and, and uh, Jackie Gleason. And we had... Now you had a brother, didn't you? Junior? Junior, La uh, Danny Reese. And I think he lives up in the state of Washington. I remember Rosemary DeCamp as being Dr. Christian's nurse, oh, yes. Judy. Uh -huh. Yeah, right. So, she yeah. was a wonderful lady. Gloria Winters played the daughter Babs in uh -huh. The Life of Riley, right. which won the first Emmy in television. Well, it was quite an accomplishment. Now, uh, was it just one season that Jackie was on, or how long did that go? That ran for the, I think it was 72 films, and uh, so for that season, then uh, William Bendix became available and they they had a whole new cast and they redid it but uh it it did win uh the the emmy and that was something to really be proud of and we didn't even have a television when it all started i mean gosh all we had were movies to go to and so i remember we got a television set because we we had to watch the opening of the show and, uh, and the rest of the episodes. So. I lived in a small town, and the only TVs were in the bars. <laughs> oh, really? Uh, Is the, that true? Where the guys would go there and watch wrestling. <laughs> Mr. Moto and Gorgeous George and, oh, gosh. and all the wrestlers. No, that wasn't something I watched. Well, then after uh, The Life of Riley, you were chosen to play Penny mm -hmm. on Sky King. Right. And uh, you were on there uh, for a number of years. Mm -hmm. And uh, during the off season, when, when you weren't shooting, mm -hmm. uh, you were a singer and dancer. Oh, yes. Uh, <laughs> Kirby Grant was a singer and dancer. Mm -hmm. And so you would go on the road. Right. Tell our viewers about that. Oh, well, that was really the special time of our lives because we'd meet the public and they would, they felt like we were part of the family. And kids would come up and they'd say, why don't you come home with me and, and my mom will fix you a good dinner. And it was just so sweet. And kids would hug you and uh, uh, I'll never forget it. It well, was you, the best You honor. were like one of the family because you came into their living rooms. I guess so. Yes, and, and I remember one time when I came uh, to a youngster's house and uh, I had still had my outfit on so I was quite western and he looked at me and he knew you know who it was and then he went right to the TV set and, and turned it on and then looked back and forth so it was a lot of fun. Everything we did, we, we had a lot of fun but uh, 
there were so many rewarding experiences because we also went made it a point to go to all hospitals children's hospitals and you did some state fairs and oh yes like uh, I'll never forget the Texas State Fair because uh, it it was a memorable occasion because we had uh, probably the biggest crowd of fans there and uh, we always sign autographs after the show and about one hour into the line here came Gus Grissom Pete Conrad, Wally Shira, and um, let me see. Oh, I'm missing somebody. The but, early astronauts. Yeah, the, yes, the beginning of space. And it was the biggest thrill because, for one thing, it just showed what gentlemen these people were because they could have broke rank and just come to the fr first of the line. So here we have the astronauts, the American heroes, standing, standing in, line in line to get your autograph. Yes with their children. That was Very really an honor. Mm -hmm. And then we uh, gave a Coke and cookie part party on the base. We went to NASA and had all the children and their parents and it was quite a crowd. Excellent. We'll continue right after we come back from this very important message. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Captain Fred's Aviation Theater. We're visiting with Gloria Winters, who played the part of Penny, Sky King's niece, on the famous television program. Let me take just a couple of minutes and bring our viewers up to speed uh, historically. Um, Kirby Grant Hoon was a child prodigy on the violin. He was a singer and he was a dancer. He made his movie debut in 1935 under the name of Robert Stanton. He did two movies using that name. Then he played in The Three Musketeers, a B-Western, with John Wayne, Ray Crash Corrigan, and Max Terhune. And he made a series of B-Westerns, and then he started his own series of the Royal Canadian Mounted Police and he made probably 20 movies playing a Canadian Mountie. He also did A movies, usually playing a pilot. He worked as uh, one of the pilots in the court martial of Billy Mitchell with Gary Cooper. And even while he was playing Sky King, uh, he continued to make movies, uh, usually a supporting part. Uh, we want to talk now about an award that you're going to be receiving. It's a very special award. Yes. Uh, Gloria Winters has been selected to receive the Golden Boot Award. Would you please tell our viewers about that? It's wonderful. Well, it's a privilege and an honor for me, and uh, I'm really thrilled about it. And uh, there, uh, it's done for the benefit of the motion picture country home. So uh, that's a retirement and nursing home. Yes, it is, and they do wonderful work, and they have a marvelous place out in Calabasas, and so it is a fundraiser for all that they do. So it's win-win-win. It's a win-win situation. Yes, and I, I'm so honored. I was so, really so surprised. I got this phone call from Rob Word, and uh, he is the MC. And we've always been supporters of, of the event, but never did I dream that I'd be up there receiving a golden boot. So. Well, Sky King was an interesting program because uh, it was a Western, yes. because it took place at the Flying Crown Ranch in Grover, Arizona. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But it was also an aviation program yes. because you flew uh, the twin Cessna, the Songbird. Right. Well, and you know, I think one of the biggest thrills was when we would be flying uh, commercially, the um, captain of the plane would get on the, uh, uh, his radio and announce to everybody on the plane, he said, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to know that the reason I am your pilot today is because of these people, Sky King and Penny. They inspired me to become a pilot, and oh, what a thrill that was. Isn't that wonderful? Oh, it was Kirby so Grant special. Kirby Grant said that, that uh, thousands of people told him 
that they became interested in aviation yes. or became pilots right. because of Sky King. Right. And you were a, a role model for uh, young women in those days, too, because uh, a woman was supposed to be uh, a nurse, a teacher, or a secretary. <laughs> And here you I were guess that uh, was the standard. running a ranch and flying an airplane. Oh, and catching the bad guys sometimes, <laughs> so and always getting into trouble. <laughs> Is there anything else you'd like to tell our viewers that we haven't covered today? Oh gosh, that life has been good. I love all the fans, and they still write to me, and uh, I, I feel very honored for the friendship that I've had with all of them. and I know something that we haven't talked about. What's that? Uh, your husband. Yes. Because while you were working, uh, you, you married a man who was uh, the sound man. Uh-huh. But uh, before he was a sound man, uh, he was a rodeo rider <laughs> and yes. uh, a crop he, duster. He was the first captain of the first college rodeo team in California. And so uh, he was quite a Western guy himself. Now, when we and were putting the uh, when we were putting the wireless mics on, uh -huh. you mentioned something about uh, uh, you were the first people to start renting wireless mics that the studio didn't want to buy them. Oh yes, well uh, they had uh, financially <laughs> lost, um, as you would say, their shirt on uh, one of the productions. I won't say which one. And they said, we don't have any money to buy the wireless mics, but Dean, if you want to, want to we'll buy them, we'll rent them f from you. So that put us into the rental business of sound equipment, and that was a nice perk. It really was. But it was for uh, Glenn Ford that he did that, because oh. Glenn did not want to loop a line ever, and if he could avoid it. And so it was out in the, in the, um, uh, on location so much on this particular show. And uh, they'd have a signal, and they'd, he'd, Glenn would have his radio mic on, and Dean would uh, say, no, uh, 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 and uh, so Glenn would cough or do something to stall so we wouldn't have the airplane coming in because if he did, then he'd have to go in and loop that line, which means putting it together, I mean, your, your voice to the picture. And uh, it's not an easy task. Oh, yeah. And it takes to, all your weekends away while the production. Sing. Yeah. <laughs> it's been delightful visiting with yeah. you today. Oh, it's been fun. I have a request. I think that Gloria Winters and Sky King should be back on TV. Oh, dear. <laughs> and uh, probably TV Land uh, Channel would be the mm -hmm. place to write to, mm -hmm. or maybe your local television station. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think that uh, Gloria Winters and, and Sky King should be back on the air again. Thank you very much for visiting with us. Did you have a question? Well, I wanted to let you know that uh, we are on the internet. A very kind person who became a pilot because of the show has a website. So if you check it out, you will find a Sky King website. Uh, you can just punch up uh, Sky King on uh, your computer. And uh, I found it the other day and it has a lot of interesting information. Thank you, Penny, Thank for you. coming all the way from the Flying Crown Ranch in Gloria, <laughs> Arizona, to be with us today. Thanks so much. As always, this is Captain Fred saying, I love airplanes, and I honor the people who fly them. And today, we've been visiting with Gloria Winters, Penny, <laughs> on the Sky King television program. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.